Well, a high-profile data breach in Minneapolis and St. Paul Public Schools and the University of Minnesota put millions of Minnesotans at risk of identity theft. The state legislators are now looking for ways to help. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard live in Minneapolis tonight with some insight from the people responsible for protecting that data. Corin? Yeah, just one example here, cybersecurity folks at Minneapolis Public Schools say they actually stopped an attack as it happened this year, but still more than 100,000 people's private information was leaked. And since attacking schools now seems to be a trend, the legislature is getting involved. The state's biggest school data breach hit the University of Minnesota's legacy data warehouse earlier this year. 32 years worth of social security and driver's license numbers plus other data fell into the hands of a hacker who claimed to have collected personal identifying information from 7 million people. We understand that this incident has caused concern among the university community and well beyond. The university's that chief information officer said he's limited in explaining what happened because of lawsuits and because their investigation is ongoing. But Representative Steve Elkins wasn't satisfied with the details he heard. This is really not excusable in this day and age. Elkins has built data warehouses for schools and other businesses. He says it seems like the university doesn't have a good handle on the private information it has, and it stores them in places they obviously shouldn't. Some of the things that are unearthed, you know, through this incident real, um, basically reveal basic shortcomings in data management. 32 Minnesota K-12 schools have also publicly reported successful cyber attacks since 2016. In just 2020, those attacks cost schools $2.7 million. Representative Kristen Bonner says it seems inevitable that hackers will target more school systems and their tactics are shifting since large corporations and districts have increased investments in cybersecurity. Smaller entities where they do not have as many resources have become more attractive targets. Yes. Um, and that includes, unfortunately, uh, places like school systems. And information officers from several districts told the legislators that the best way for them to help would be to invest in cybersecurity with grant programs or any other investments headed towards the schools. Live in Minneapolis, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.